The following is a short tutorial on how to create a widget and add it to your home page. To start, it is important to understand what a widget is. A widget is an area of content on the home page that houses different content. For instance, this is a news widget, this is a calendar widget, and this is a content widget. Inside of D2L, it also gives you the ability to make other widgets for your own specific purposes. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to create a widget which adds my class schedule to my home page. To start, you go to Edit Course, which is this book with the green button right here. When you come into Edit Course, you're going to see a button that says Widgets. You click here. Now, if you look to the top, the blue button right here, Create Widget, is how you create it. Once on this screen, you're going to give it a name. Whatever name you give it is the name that you'll see in the title bar. Then from there, you're going to click on Content. And once we click on content, you're going to see that the same HTML editor comes up that comes up in news. So from here, if we want to insert um, the schedule as an image, we are going to go to insert stuff. The reason why we use insert stuff is because it allows us to resize it. We're going to choose the file that we're looking for. We're going to find the file. So I'm going to use fancy timetable. And I'm going to open it. And I'm going to upload it. While we're waiting, one thing that's important to know is that to do a schedule or to do a calendar like this, you need to have your calendar in JPEG form. So that might involve you taking a screenshot um, using on a Mac Shift Command 4 or using the Snippet tool within Windows. Once we get it in here, we can resize it. Remember, 600 will fit perfectly inside of the widget if it goes on the larger area on the right-hand side. And we are going to link to exit. So I'm going to call it class schedule. And because we're just going to use alternate text as decorative, we can click there. Now we're going to insert it and center it up. So now that it's centered, it's in my widget. I'm going to save that. Now that it's saved and I go back to my home page, you're going to see that it's still not there. And the reason for that is because I haven't actually added it to my home page. I've created the widget, but I haven't added it. So to add a widget, you scroll down at the bottom, you're going to see a pencil. Now I just want to show you something. Because my pencil is um, light blue, that means I don't have permission to edit this home page because it's a master home page. So what I got to do there, if you haven't already done so, is go into Course Edit, then go to Home Pages. You'll select the home page you want, but before you do that, you're going to go to the home page and you're going to make a copy of it. So I want intermediate course home with apps. I'm going to copy that. Now, down here in the drop down, I'm going to find the one I copied. So there's DSP and intermediate course home with apps, and I can select that and apply it. Now what that does is makes you own, makes yourself a personal copy of the home page so that you can edit and change the positions of the widgets. So now when you scroll to the bottom of the page and you look for the pencil, you'll see that the pencil is now yellow. Because the pencil is yellow, it will allow you to change the positioning. As you can see, you can even change the layouts to look at different ways that you'd like your page structured. If you continue to go down, you're going to see that here's all the widgets you have. And there's ability to add widgets. So because we've created a widget, we can now add it. So I'm going to go right here. And you see I'm going the right side, the larger side. And I'm going to find class schedule, which is right here. I'm going to keep scrolling down, and I'm going to add it. Now for me, I would like the class schedule widget to be above the news. And I'm going to save and close that. And now when I go to my page, you'll see that there's my schedule. Um, then the fact is I can fold it up and down. One thing I want to show you quickly is see how this widget looks different than this one just in terms of the rounded corners and the different colored blue. If I want to change that quickly I can style this widget and when you style the widget there's different options to do with it. One of them is you know in terms of the title border you can make it solid. This is what's around the top so how I, ch how I made this widget look like the other one. I also had a widget border which would go around the outside of the entire widget and and to get the rounded corners, you're going to see there's a widget corner rounding. And I just change all those to 10. And when I save it and go back to my page, you'll see that this widget is the same. And it's a fold down widget just like that one. Now, if I was looking to edit this widget, for say I had a new schedule that I wanted to swap in and out, or if I was doing monthly calendars, I wanted to change it, I could just go here. I could go to edit this widget. 
you're going to see there's the title and go back into content and then I could simply delete this schedule and then import another one through insert stuff and save and close it and that schedule or a calendar would change within there. Um, one other thing I'd like to show you is if maybe putting a widget on the left hand side in the smaller area just quickly go through that. It's the same process of edit course. Um, go to widgets, create a widget now inside of here if we were to say something like important links right we could then go to content now that we're in content we can now insert an image so to find an image I went to Google I like this image so I'm going to right click on it and save image as I'm going to call it important links and I'm going to save it to my desktop it's important to remember where you saved it once I've saved it my desktop then I can go to insert stuff and because I saved it on my computer I can look and choose a file from my computer I saved it on my desktop there's the file I chose because we went through insert stuff I can now um, resize it so I'm going to make this nice and small like 200 and I'm going to call this links and again click this as decorative scroll down now I'm going to insert it and when I insert it I'm going to center this image and now I want to be able to add links underneath the image so to do that I'm going to start a new line I'm going to add a bullet start and then for say I wanted to lead them to the dspn.elearning Ontario site I'm going to copy that by right clicking and clicking on copy going back into my site and I'm going to instead of pasting it here I'm going to go into this quick link button down at the bottom there's a URL because I copy and save that I'm going to paste this URL in here and in here I'm going to t t type what I want to see DSPN e-learning will be the title of this one and I can choose if I wanted to open up in the same frame or go to a new window I'm going to choose a new window and then I'm going to insert it now you can see that this widget is created again I'm going to save that widget so I have a widget called important links under my widgets so now when I go back to my home page I'm going to be able to add that widget by going to the pencil all the way down at the bottom here it is I'm going to scroll down and because it's small I'm going to add this one on the left hand side again this is size is 300 so you just don't want images that are over 300 in width in there I'm going to find the important links widget so there it is I think it's this one I'm going to add it I can position this wherever I want so say I wanted it above this I could add it in here I'm going to save and close and now you can see when I scroll down um, on this page there's my important links and here's a hyperlink so I could have all my links that the kids are going to regularly right without my home page and we talked about before I can stylize this widget to make it look like the rest so that is a short tutorial on how to create a widget and add it to either the right side or the left side of the page